Hello there, Rule the Waves fans of YouTube. This is Noname Moment 7 Spore, and today we are continuing our playthrough as Austria Hungary with a starting date of 1900. As a reminder, this series was originally live streamed on Twitch. Links to it and my personal Discord are in the video description below. This was only streamed in 720p, so that is what the video quality is going to be. And this series took place across the original three versions of the game, all of which are currently outdated. With all that out of the way, let's get on to today's episode. And right now we are close to war with Italy, kind of close to with war to Russia. Hope My hope is that we don't go to war with Italy right now, because if we go to war with Italy, we go to war with France. Uh, so what did we do for research? Did we get... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we got anything. Our research is only 10% of the budget right now. It's kind of slowed down a little bit. Um, I just want to get this all done. Um, so we're going to get a new CVL this turn. Uh, it's not a very good one, but we did just lay down uh, these two, the two Lathas, and those are going to be a little better. Uh, yeah. We can build him the yacht and get an extra point of prestige. Yeah. Tor Ooh, torpedoes now have a better range. New float plane scouts are ready for evaluation. So, let's see, so we can... Can't carry quite as heavy of a bomb. We do have one with a good range, though. Yeah, this is going to replace the Loner 16. Nice! What does that have? Better max speed. Better range. Yep. Um. Well, yeah, let's do that. Aircraft types. So that's a new float plane scout. Oh, yeah, our older lower range float plane scout is uh currently uh being retired i think you all have the two flying boats um hmm the cost per month is 39 on all our air bases at the moment as for ships in service, it's actually a lot higher. So what is uh, Elephant's air group? Um, apparently it doesn't have one. For whatever reason. But yeah, now we have those three uh, CVLs and two more under construction in Lathan Don now. Yes, full plane scout, Lockheed. Top speed 86, combo radius 80 nautical miles. Oh, the Gloucester Gladiator's been built in 1922. Ooh. Smoke floats. Let's uh, resume construction on our uh, CA there. We're going to have two Aurora... Oh yeah, destroyers are getting commissioned. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, I want them created automatically. What is... Uh, hold on. Manage air group. Let's see. What are you doing? You... Uh, change number... 6, and then change number will be 9. Yeah. So, hopefully, we wind up, uh, continuously repa or replacing some of our, uh, less good craft here. I know we're using that as our fighter. A new f float plane scout in development, which isn't quite as. I might. 
I'm gonna probably disband the Mac or get rid of the Mac 30. Um, flying boat wise, I want I can do that yet. All right, so next goal: the Minervas here should be rebuilt. Clear all the turrets. Clear her five inch guns. Oh no. Keep her five inch guns. Um Clear the torpedo mounts. Add a flight deck. See how many aircraft we can uh, squeeze in at first. So we can get twenty six. Right here, right now, without any replacement in machinery. It'll take 12 months, though, and at a relatively high cost. Uh, can we fit? We can only fit light AA. Not gonna put mines on it, by any means. Uh, if we're gonna commit to a carrier, might as well commit to a proper carrier. We've not developed aircraft carrier. Okay, so if we do that. Can we, uh. Hold on. Open design for rebuild. So. Clear her turrets. Uh, clear her torpedo tube mounts. Give us a flight deck, give us an aircraft capacity of... We, yeah, we can go up to like 28 if we disarm her. So you are CV still. If I identified a CV. 24 is CVL. 25 is CV. So we can go to 24. It's like I want to replace machinery and get a faster ship here. With these uh, carriers. Yeah. Um... God, I'm still receiving messages on Steam. Give me a moment. Ah, <laughs> uh, just messaging him real quickly that I am uh, currently live streaming. Okay, so there's the other thought that we wait until we have proper. <laughs> CV conversions. <sighs> yeah, so do do I wait? Do I wait and see if we can get a proper CV conversion? Or do I convert them into CVLs now? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. So the Minervas are gonna stay as is. And we're going to get uh, these things. Because there is the other thought that I could do the same with the Habsburgs. But I kind of don't think I'm going to. And now, now we have all of our destroyers in service. How are we on uh, destroyer stuff here? Hmm, where is it? Okay, we're still only at 1,100 tons. But given that we have 40 effective destroyers right now, and then another 25 probably uh, more escorty sorts of designs. Now, with that being said, 
I think since these guys are a little more escorty, um, we should uh, probably think about converting them into something like this. Oil fuel is now universally available. Are you sure you want to use coal? Oh wait, fire control. We can get central rangefinders on destroyers now. I need to upgrade my light cruisers with directors. Let's use... Yeah, let's use... uh That. So... These will be old sub-hunting destroyer designs. Uh, increase depth charge storage. Get rid of F and get rid of the G. And then get a uh, single central range finder. Can we? We cannot. We're not going to be able to use mine sweeping gear. Could add a couple anti aircraft guns. But you know what? Given. Warfare now, it might be smart to start refitting uh, some of our ships or some of our uh, heavier ships with anti aircraft guns. I'm going to wait till the remaining planets finish to uh, refit that class, but. So this design was built with a very limited number of anti aircraft guns, but it's still building. So what we're going to do is we're going to send our battle cruiser division in right now. I'm going to send my light cruiser division in. I think that's where are my light cruisers in. So the admiral spawns are old. These are not going to be continued to be used. Uh, the Arethusas are pretty old as well. But, you know, these have kind of still been kept around. Yeah, I am still going to use coal. I'm not doing a machinery refit on those guys. Uh, Arthemisia. Director firing. I forgot to put the anti-aircraft guns on it. We're going to put uh, maybe 16 light anti-aircraft guns on her. That still gives us some extra... Well, actually, no. What... Anti-aircraft guns can be removed pretty easily, so we'll put 20. Um, put 10. And then we'll rebuild the uh, Fidos here. So, director firing. Um, additional armament. Decreased tubes. Decreased tubes. Yeah, I give us six anti aircraft guns. And open these guys for a rebuild. So director firing, unfortunately I think we are gonna have to uh ditch some of the torpedo tubes. Okay, my friend. Let's uh, reduce the number of torpedo tubes. Uh, actually, you know what? Keep the number of torpedo tubes up. Just reduce the mines. And then we'll do six anti-aircraft guns on these guys. So, we're building two more auroras. I'm going to wait for them to finish. And then... Uh, Jupiter, side uh, five destroyers are commissioned. I actually want to see, are people building CVLs? Yes, people are. People, oh, the USA has two. What CVLs do they have? Um, that's a big CVL they're building, but they've got two converted light cruisers, it looks like. Good job, America!
Good job. That is the absolute best place to place the funnels on an aircraft carrier. Look at that. Look at where they place those funnels. That is perfect funnel placement. It's totally not interfering with uh, the ability for planes to fly off the ships. I highly doubt those carry many aircraft. I think our group of CVLs, you know, the three we have in service and the two we're building are probably better. Although the two the U.S. have are faster. I will admit that. There's some thought that I could, uh, maybe we build these guys into CVLs. What happens if I do that? And go up to like 27 knots. Flight deck. Okay, we can get a squadron of nine aircraft on these things. It looks like. Um, not really a way for me to uh, get any more than nine. Wait, no, local only fire. Can we get a tenth? If we have no weight remaining, we can get a tenth. So if we, let's say we bulge it. Or let it go 26 knots instead. Yeah, I might convert these guys into CVLs. They're not really that useful. Well, I might just build a purpose-built CVL rather than these guys. I was thinking that those guys would be uh, seaplane carriers, but it might... They're probably going to be trade protection ships, let's be real. Um, but if they're going to be trade protection ships, then let's make them a little more competent at it. Or mine layers. Alright, nine light anti-aircraft guns, and I do believe that is the most we can get out of it. Two old cruisers now being refit. And now that our Auroras are in service, they're going to immediately be sent in for refit. With uh, an additional 14 light anti aircraft guns. And we're going to have to refit everything here now. No. Yeah, you can take Cuba. Uh, Germany. I'm not going to lose another point of prestige to that. Okay, now we have our whole light cruiser force back. Ah. Uh, I'll, I'll get it. Ooh, new, uh, our new scout's ready for service. At which point, I'm gonna order that one obsolete. Uh, it is... I say we need a new flying boat. So, first priority should be range. Second priority should probably be bomb load, maybe? I'm thinking... I'm thinking bomb load. Alright, we have a proposal for a new aircraft then. So, let's move uh, all these guys to the reserve fleet for now. I know tensions are still very, very high with Italy. We don't want war with Italy. I would take war with Russia. Although that's a little risky given how many battle cruisers they have. All we got all those guys back. Um, Submarine-wise, we could still use some. Yeah, let's get some subs going. Oh, 
All right, we're going to get the rest of our cruisers back here in another turn. So that'll be good. And then what we want to do now is we want to start refitting our... We want to refit all of these guys here. Assuming that, yeah, there aren't any planets under construction. And we want to refit all these guys. Alright. Additional armament. Just cover it in anti-aircraft guns. Yeah, there. 48 light anti-aircraft guns on this thing. Check. Um, ship could have director firing for its secondary arm. Oh, hold on. Thank you all for watching. As a reminder, the like and subscribe buttons exist. Do with them as you please. If you want to watch my live streams from which this video originates, you can go to my Twitch page. And if you want to keep up with the live streams and interact with my nearly non-existent community, you can join my Discord. Links to both are in the description below. Goodbye, everyone.